Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe to like. There. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Free live. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Or subscribe. Alright. Our lesson for today is what is deductive reasoning? So this is about deductive reasoning and this is your teacher Mari Padonis and this is for Mathematics 8 Week 5. Deductive reasoning. So deduce means to to reason from known facts. When you prove a theorem, you are using deductive reasoning, using existing structures to deduce new parts of the structure. In deductive reasoning, you assume that the hypothesis is true and then write a series of statements that lead to the conclusion. Each statement is supported by the a reason that justifies it. The set of statements and reasons consist of proof. The deductive process involves the stipulation of a specific statement based on a general statement that has been accepted to be true if we designate the statement to be if A then B, then if we can give particular statement A and get the conclusion B. Now what is syllogism? Syllogism is an argument made up of three statements, a major premise, a minor premise, both of which are accepted as true, and a conclusion. Now let us take a look at the following statements. X. If two numbers are odd, then their sum is even. Y. The numbers 3 and 5 are odd numbers. C, the sum of 3 and 5 is even. X here is the major premise because it's the general statement. Y is the minor premise. And Z is the conclusion. Next example number two. If you want to go to health, then you should get 8 hours of sleep each day. So your Y, Aaron wants to get to good, wants good health. Then Z, Aaron should get 8 hours of sleep each day. In all three sets of statements, X is called general statement, Y is called particular statement, and Z is called conclusion. In these syllogisms, we reason from a statement about a general set to a statement about a particular member or element of that set. This kind of reasoning is characterized as reasoning from the general to particular and it is called deductive reasoning. Example. Using deductive reasoning, complete its syllogism, write the general statement or the X okay, and a particular statement Y. Then write a conclusion which is the C. An example A, if you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. Car quit smoking. So therefore, car Car saves lungs. 
pardon, with my handwriting. Car saves. No, with S. Because his. Lungs. Okay. Car saves his lungs. That's the conclusion. Of course, right. Right angles are congruent. Okay, so we can say that angle 1 and angle 2 are right angles. Okay, so there are right angles. Okay, so this is the general premise. Now, right angles. So this right symbol. Uh, the conclusion, therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. Okay, so that's it. So let's complete its syllogism, write the general statement X, a particular statement, and a conclusion. If you are a good, good citizen, then you obey traffic rules. Aaron is a good citizen. So the conclusion, Aaron, okay, what should Aaron do? Or does? So Aaron obeys okay. He obeys traffic rules. Okay, traffic rules. Okay. So it's hard to type here. Right. Okay. Traffic F I C. Okay, rules R O O R U L E S L E S. Okay. Okay, that's it. No? So if you are a good citizen, then you're but you're obeyed traffic rules. Aaron is a good citizen, so therefore Aaron obeys traffic rules so from general to specific okay so here in the example b we have ami and andy delighted so this is the second premise or uh the uh, second statement and the conclusion ami and andy do their homework so, okay so if we are going to write a general uh statement here ami and andy are diligent students then they do their homeworks. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I will not write it anymore because it's it's really hard for me to. So again, the general statements: Ami and Andy are diligent students. Then they do their homeworks. Okay. So here, determine if a valid conclusion can be reached. Huh? So determine if a valid conclusion can be reached from two true statements. If two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite their angles are also congruent. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the triangle is isosceles. So we could say that if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the triangle is isosceles. Okay, that's the general statement. Okay, if two lines intersect to a common right angle, then they are perpendicular. Lines M and N are perpendicular. So what will the you know the general is the what you call this the conclusion? If line M and N are 
uh, if two lines intersect to form a right angle, then they are perpendicular. So the general statement, therefore, line M and line N intersect to form a right angle. Yes, because they are perpendicular. Okay, so say that it's. Okay, let's uh, see here another example. If two angles form a linear pair, then they share a common sign. So, I uh, if you encounter already a linear pair, they share common sign. So, linear pair usually uh, 180 degrees when you combine uh, these angles. So, if two planes intersect, then their intersection is line, of course. Here. Uh, so, for y, angle 1 and angle 2 share a common side. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent. Okay, this is for, for A, and because this is already B here, this is B. Okay, B. Right. In, I know, we have a general statement. Um, if two planes intersect, then intersection is a line. Planes M and N intersect. Therefore, uh, planes M and N intersect in a line. Okay? So this is deductive reasoning. Okay, so for more, uh, just pause this video and you will understand later. Okay, so let's have another here. If two uh, you can do it as your assignment. If two angles are congruent, their measures are equal. So you are going to write um, a valid statement and a conclusion. Okay, wait, Bella. So for this, two given examples. So for questions or clarifications, please leave your comment at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Also, mathematics is not just about numbers. Much of it is problem solving and reasoning. Good day, everyone. And make a love shout out to all my uh, Tim Barcada, Organic Barcadas, Tom YDC International, uh, Tim Solid Family, the, the Tim Prudis. Okay, thank you guys for so always supporting me. To all my students, love you all. See you again. Bye.